Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So I did a video over here um, like a few weeks ago and you guys really liked when I filmed my tutorial here. So I'm gonna do it again. I really also liked it over here, so I'm glad that we're on the same page with that. I just um, dried my hair. I had 5.45 spin this morning. It's now 10.05 in the morning. So um, I didn't wash my hair, I just um, dried all the sweat out of it. So it's like a big puffy mess. It's so not blended with my extensions. Like look at that ratchet line I have going on right now. Like that is ratchet. So I'm gonna blend all this. Obviously I'm gonna make myself look not ratchet. To moisturize my skin, I'm gonna use the Glam Glow Glow Sweater Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. This one is in the shade Nude Glow. So I'm so happy because today is like the first day of summer. Um, and I say that even though it's like May 11th, I say that because this is the day that all my friends are done with their finals. So they're all coming home from college today. So they're all home for summer break and it's really fun because now I get to hang out with all my friends again. Okay, once that is sunken into my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Priming Water. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I really love this. Um, I use it in a ton of videos. I'm just gonna use this to even everything out. Let me just fix my skin tone real quick. <laughs> I have been obsessed with David Dobrik's vlogs. Like, they're all I watch. And I think he's just so fun to watch because he is like so funny. He has such a funny personality and like he just isn't always in a good mood. It's really contagious. Like he cut his hand open and he literally was like laughing the whole time. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape. What is this? Light Neutral. And I'm putting it on the back of my hand just so that I don't use too much. I find that when I put it like right on my skin, I definitely go in with way too much concealer and I kind of look a little cray. Tomorrow is going to be the best day of my life because it is the future concert. I have been looking forward to this concert for, I don't know, my whole life. It's Future Migos, Tory Lanez. Kodak Black was supposed to be there, but he's in he's in jail. Tory Lanez, ASAP Ferg, like it's going to be amazing. Like best day of my life. And then I'm going to set my under eyes. This is RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I've, been got, I've been doing my makeup like so quick the other day. Um, my friend Natalie was here and we were like going out and we like We're going to a friend's house party thing and we we're like, okay We'll get ready like real quick because we weren't like trying hard or anything and um, Literally it took us like 20 minutes to get ready like full beat to get ready and if I were to have done that like a year ago it definitely would have been able to get done and then I also like to add on a little bit of powder over the rest of my face, especially with this foundation. Um, I don't know, I just think it works better when you set it. So this is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Powder. This is a super light coverage. As for bronzer, you guys know that I use Hoola bronzer for existing. Um, it's like me. And then I'm just going to take a MAC 224. This is just a blending brush. And I'm just gonna throw this into the crease. You guys have seen this makeup look a hundred times, but you guys keep requesting this look. And I'm like, guys, I've literally done it so many times. I also throw some along the lower lash line. For highlights, I'm using my favorite. So this is Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm using this with a Anastasia A23. I haven't used this highlight. Oh my God, I have not used this highlighter in like a minute. Oh, why did I ever stop using this? Then I'm gonna switch over to Laura Geller Charming Pink, which is just a pink highlighter. And on the same brush, there's a little bit of that gold left over on the brush. I'm just gonna mix the two together and highlight my eyes with this. So this is going on my inner corner and right underneath my brow. I'm not kidding when I say like I'm just sloppy with how I put my makeup on lately. I don't know what really changed. For blush today, I'm gonna to use Flower Child by Becca. It is shattered, but I mean, I just need this color in my life. And I know that there's like a way to fix it. I'm just lazy and haven't done that. It's just so pretty. All right, moving on to eyebrows. I've really been liking 
my natural eyebrows. <laughs> I used to like go crazy about filling them in, but like now I'm kind of realizing that I have nice eyebrows and I shouldn't go crazy because they're pretty full. They have shape to them. Um, so now all that I do, today I'm using the Brow Definer by Anastasia. I just sort of go over the shape of them and define the shape a little bit. Go underneath and fill it in just like a little bit. But I mean, I don't really do much. Do you guys think Amanda Knox is innocent or guilty? I think I just saw online, like I didn't read it, but I just saw an article about her. So maybe there was like new evidence that was found or something that's proving her guilty or proving her innocent. But I mean, I watched the documentary on Netflix when it came out and um, I think it was a really great documentary. I think it was very unbiased um, because I sort of went into it not knowing anything and the documentary really let, just gave you all the facts and sort of let you pick what you think which is how a documentary should be it was a really good one so i think that she's innocent and kim kardashian thinks she's innocent too now i go in and i put on a little bit of eyeliner i look like a dead woman without eyeliner so i always need some this is just black eyeliner by smashbox and this is what you guys always ask me about. You guys are always like, do that look with the smudgy liner. Like, what, what is it that you always wear? Like, it's so easy. So I just take um, Raven by NYX. Any black, brown, gray, whatever darker eyeshadow you have, purple, anything. Um, I just take this on a smaller brush. The brush doesn't matter. I switch it up pretty much on a daily basis. It's just one I picked out today. Any small brush, and I just put it on my upper lash line. And I just kind of smoke it out. And then I'll get my finger and just kind of rub it. Smoke it a little bit more. And then any excess goes on my lower lash line. I picked up a little bit more than I normally do. So I guess I'm a little extra smoky today. I guess some days more than others. Okay, that's it. That's it. I just smoke it out with a little bit of shadow and you guys like love it but now i look crazy without lashes so i don't know i really only do this if i'm wearing eyelashes which i am today of course the lashes that i'm wearing are ardell wispies they're my life my favorite lashes ever okay i just put on my lashes and um a little bit of mascara on the bottom and then i'll just put on some sort of lip gloss today it's um instant gold by mac All right, and that is the look. I'm gonna curl my hair. I know you guys have been requesting like a hair video on like how to curl my hair, but um, I'm still learning, so I'm gonna do that in another video, but I will do it soon. Oh, before I curl my hair, I wanted to spray a little bit of this on. This is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. Love the smell of this. It smells like the primer or the moisturizer, but um, it like the spray is like so weird. Like it's a really weak spray. So yeah, literally have to hold it so close and the sprayer goes a different direction than how it's supposed to. So you kind of have to like finesse your way with that sprayer and like figure out how it works. But yeah, I enjoy it. All right, hair is done. It's nice and big and like big today. It's like literally huge today. So um, yeah, but that's my hair. I know you guys always ask for tutorials on it. Um, let me get better at curling it and figuring out what is best. But um, I just use a one inch curling iron to do this. So um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you wanna see. All right, I'm out. Bye guys, have a good one. Love you, bye.